Hi guys, are you looking for a very cheap alternative to the iPad Pro? If so, stick around, watch this video, see what you think. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and today I want to show you this. It's the Pinpoint Precision Stylus by the Joy Factory. Mine's just arrived, and I want to show you it quickly. It's absolutely great from everything I've seen so far. There you go, there it is in its box. To show you around the back, there's all kinds of facts and information about the stylus. This is an adjustable tip stylus. It's a replacement stylus or an alternative stylus for your tablet or mobile device. Apparently this works with most devices, which is great to know. I'm going to be testing this out. So yeah, can't wait to see this in action. There we go. At least you know it's safely packaged. Oh wow, the world's easiest unboxing video. Feels like there's something still in here. It does actually come with battery. And it's actually a Toshiba battery. There you go. Stay in the video. Stay in the video. Yep, that is unscrewed. There you go. So that's the adjustable part. The tip there. Just have a quick look at the instruction manual. I guessed at most of that before I actually looked at it. Cool. So there you go, that's everything that's in the box. Is this a cheap alternative to the iPad Pro? Yes and no. It's a cheap alternative, a few drawbacks, but then again, yeah, of course, it's not going to be on the same part. I'm going to say that straight away because I don't want iPad and Apple fanatics coming after me and saying, hey, no, no, it's not the same, you know, oh, the iPad Pros are absolutely brilliant, you know, you can't compare the two. No, I'm not comparing the two, but this is $50 as opposed to $99 for the stylus and almost $1,000 for the iPad Pro. So this is a much cheaper alternative and I'll explain why. Basically, if you're like me and you already own an iPad, I have the iPad Air. So... As you can see on my channel, I've already got a video or two videos explaining why I didn't like the iPad Pro. So go and check those out. Yeah, I kind of got hounded for what I said. But yeah, uh, there you go. What I think is a nice alternative, and it definitely works for me from the Joy Factory, the third generation pinpoint precision stylus. It's shorter, it's black, battery operated, so I don't need to plug it into the end of the iPad. So yeah, I actually prefer battery pen. You know, you only change the battery like once a year, so what's the problem? It's chunky, I like that. If you're a guy like me and you have fairly decent sized hands, then a chunky pen's kind of nice. So I like this and it feels the right size and you know, it's got a bit of weight to it and that's nice. The good thing is I already own an iPad Air. In all the years that I've owned an iPad, and I've owned one since the first generation came out, I am an Apple fan, so I don't need hounding by Apple fanboys who think I'm some kind of Windows fanatic. I do love Windows, but I'm also an Apple fan. You know, I love everything that I can create artwork on, funnily enough. Yeah, I like this stylus, and I think it works great, and it means I don't have to buy a brand new iPad because I use my iPad for everything. I use it for watching TV and films on, I use it for writing documents, answering emails on, but I've never used it for my artwork. Why? Because mm, up until now, it's basically been finger painting and I'm not five. So, you know, it's nice that I can get a stylus and it's cheap. And when I want to sketch, I can just use this, you know, it's $50 and I can just sketch, you know, and this arm is also from the Joy Factory and this is brilliant and I use this every day. As always, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and definitely make sure to jump in on the comments and be a part of this conversation. I always look forward to, you know, joining in the conversation, being a part of the art community, and I hope you do too. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, 
like and even subscribe to my channel Lawrence Can Draw. And if you did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrencemann.co.uk.